traveling fans from around the world to the 2010 Mr. Olympia. 45 years of Olympia competitions we're celebrating this year. Only 12 champions have been crowned at that time. Will we see a 13th champion crowned? Will we see Jay Cutler repeat for the fourth time? Ladies and gentlemen, your 2010 Olympia lineup. From the Dominican Republic, the Dominican Dominator, Victor Martinez. From the USA, the gift, Phil Heath. From the USA, the Predator, Pie Green. From the USA, former Mr. Olympia, Dexter, the Blade, Jackson. From the USA, the Texas Rattlesnake, Branch Warren. once again coming out every year and uh, supporting us and hopefully it's going to be a great show we have a great lineup once again this year and I know a lot of guys are hungry you guys seen a lot of build up for this competition and uh, I just want to wish everyone the best of luck uh, all my competitors and uh, I feel you know once again great this year I'm going for my fourth title and I want to thank all the fans for coming out and supporting it and everyone that's helped us get here and uh, we're going to put on a great show for you guys so thank you you know, I started preparing for this contest the day after the contest last year. Um, second place last year was probably the, the toughest place I've ever received in a contest. Because you, know, you dream about this, uh, winning this show since I was a teenager, you know. So uh, I left that show hungrier and more driven, more dedicated than I've ever been in my life. And I don't care what the so-called experts and so critics say. Man, I don't know. Now, I'll be honest with you, quite frankly, I don't give a damn. So, Do you always answer a question? by repeating the question. <laughs> it's gonna be extremely difficult, you know. It's, it's not just Jay, you know. You got an incredible group of talented guys up here this year, man. I think this is gonna be one of the best Olympians ever, so, you know, all I can do is, is be the best I can be, and, and um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, the Arnold Classic loss, I mean, that, I can't lie, that, that, that hurt, but uh, you know, just like last year's Olympia, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? And I definitely was on my deathbed last year, you know, getting ready, you know, am I ready to beat Jay? I mean, we'll have to wait and see, um, because I feel confident that I can win the entire show, not just Friday, not just Saturday, but both days. Um, but I'm gonna have to prove that. I'm gonna have to go against each and every person that I'm being compared against, and I'm ready for the challenge never gets old. I'm happy to be here. And I keep coming back because of you guys. Um, the fans, the support that we get, I mean, that alone drives me. Um, and rest and whatnot for 12 weeks, 16 weeks, sometimes longer. So I think that everyone deserves to be compared to everyone. And then uh, at the end, nobody really got to be compared with those guys. And that's cool, for they were the best. But, you know, just for, just for the nostalgia. But uh, I'll be... Better than everyone. The <laughs> Russian. <laughs> uh, I'm making this official right now. It's hard for me because this is really something that I was thinking about a very long time. And I'm doing this because right now I'm still healthy and I'm still, I'm still great. I still feel good. And I, want to, I came into the sport great and I want to get out the sport great. So my goal is to make this my last Olympia. I'm today, unless somebody else is lying too, <laughs> I'll probably officially be the oldest competitor on this stage right here. And at 62, you look great, man. <laughs> now, as far as the best contender, there's a lot of guys that are contenders, but I'm going to give the prime example of why I'm going to answer this question. Um, when I was coming up through the ranks, I, I was 8th place in 2000, and my first Miss Olympia in 1999, I was 15th out of 16th. I was forced to move up to eighth the next year, and then in 2001, I wasn't a contender to even be in the running. I moved from eighth to second place to Ronnie Coleman and almost won the contest. So realistically looking at it, there's 
anyone can win this competition, um, and it's all who you stand next to. And I've done what I had to do to be, you know, similar to last year. I can't say what, what I'm going to look like to, um, tomorrow night or Saturday. You know, I just know that, that right now, you know, I'm feeling strong about it, and, and, you know, I welcome the challenge. And I wish everyone the best, and, and most importantly, that everyone gets on that stage healthy tomorrow night and Saturday night, and we put on a great show because that's what you guys came here for. And, of course, a lot of you guys have fans. I mean, of course, Dexter wants the title back. I know Phil wants it back. Kai Green wants it. There's a lot of hype. Bob, you're, you're king of the predictions, so maybe you can answer that question, who's my biggest challenge? I don't even think you had me winning the contest, so as far as predictions, I mean, you guys, you guys came here to see a show, you're going to see a show, that's what I'm going to give you guys tomorrow night, okay? I just, I'm just here to do my job, and that's to win, that's it. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> I'm experiencing the journey, trying to enjoy it. There you are, my friend, and we are experiencing you here at the Olympia. She says you look pissed off. Are you pissed off or you just got your game face on? You're not really a, you're not in a bad mood, are you? I'm in a real good mood, actually. You know, it's got to see his bad mood. Um, um, you know, I think, I think, you know, a lot of times we, you, know, you put your best foot forward, you put an idea together and you put it up there in production and people get a chance to see it and they're able to critique, you know, pick it apart and say what they like or what they dislike. But at the end of the day, you know, this is still, a, this is your work. This is something that you, um, a demonstration, again, of an idea or a group of ideas that you put together. Um, to say disappointment um, was left in your mind after the routine of last year, it's a little bit difficult to swallow um, and I have to be honest, largely because uh, I watched the routine and I wonder what is being considered, how technically difficult do you imagine some of those things to be? Um, and how do we walk away and say, hey, this person is not, you know, um, that wasn't good or um, a disappointment from something before. <laughs> yes. What the hell is Kai talking about? <laughs> you know, he tried to go up the wall backwards and he had to stop because he was going to fall on it. So he, that's what he told me. We <laughs> <laughs> well, got on next for the real translation drop, man. Your boy, and your boy on Friday, Saturday night. We'll see who gets it. <laughs>